welcome students in this video we will be discussing about unit 1 and how to prepare for unit 1 of enterprise java subject unit 1 consists of understanding the java enterprise edition java enterprise edition architecture servers and containers introduction to java servlets servlet api and life cycle working with servlet and working with database so these are approximately six topics are there so i can consider each topic will contain one or two questions so you need to prepare for three topics in a stronger way now let us check that what are the different uh, practical question need to be referred while you are preparing for unit 1 in preparing for unit 1 i will advise that you will be working with the practicum of 1a 1b and 1c for the revision ho jayega so you will be able to go for writing the answers in a appropriate way so now let's concentrate on all the important questions which will be asked under the unit 1 so this is what a small question mark along with the answers given by me but before i start with discussing about the question let me tell you your exam is apparently going to start on 23rd tentative date is been declared so 23rd of november the exam is been declared this paper is of 75 marks when the paper is of 75 marks you know that two and a half hours are given to you that means uh, uh, 60 60 you can consider two and half hour will comes towards 60 plus 60 sorry plus 30 So you'll be getting 150 minutes. You'll be received to you, in which you have to go for completing 15 questions, right? So if you are trying to divide the 15 question, you will find each question must be answer must be completed in 10 minutes. I'd say many of the students when they're writing the answer, they found that this question is very nicely prepared by me, and they will go on writing the answer for 20 minutes, and uh, rest of paper they are not able to deliver. so please remember that your answer should be completed in 8 to 9 minutes because ultimately 5 to 7 minutes you need for the sake of extra reading and uh, underlining and decorating the answer paper so now let's concentrate on all the important questions of enterprise java unit 1 i will consider that all questions are important but some are very important questions so you need to concentrate on those important questions what are the various factors important before deciding on number of tiers that is two tier or three tiers this is the question which was been asked in 1780 so this is a good question this is generalized answer anything which we are going to discuss you will be knowing that you need to consider on scalability availability extensibility maintainability security as well as performance read it once uh, what is a, a single tier architecture what is a two tier architecture and what is a three tier architecture pull read it quite nicely uh, because the question is might be asked on it so three tier two tier and the single tier application uh, read it as a single answer what is the need of the multi tier architecture and explain its functionality the important question so please prepare it nicely moving ahead what are the java interpretation containers this is the important question so please concentrate on this particular question properly explain cgi technology what are its disadvantages okay fine but i am not focusing on this particular question a lot you can read it once write a short note on servlet interface explain its method yes it is a very very important question please read the question carefully explain the life cycle of a servlet is a very important question please draw the figure wherever it is possible it always give the added advantage to you examiner finds it easy he come to know that you had understood this particular concept moving ahead types of uh, jdbc driver is a important question the each driver the advantages disadvantages are mentioned over here read it carefully moving ahead uh, explain the following interfaces they are all the jdbc questions connection statement prepared statement callable statements and all results it is there Result set metadata is there. Don't need to go for displaying and writing ten method. You can write any four method and many other kargal as well. Like this. So this is something important for you. There might be a question which might be asked like uh, write a servlet. If you are knowing the program properly, then only write the answer. If you are not knowing the program properly, then do not try to go for opting for this particular questions. ये एक pattern का question आ सकता है. इसलिए मैंने एक example आपको दे दिया. 
list the various tasks that servlet can do. Uh, this is any kind of server side scripting will be doing this task. So this is a generalized answer. Read it once. Write a short note on servlet package. Fine. You are knowing life cycle of a servlet. You are knowing important uh, aspects of servlet. So you are able to go for writing this particular answer. No need of writing all these kind of uh, interfaces and uh, classes. Write only the specific four to five classes and many other classes. Explain the architecture of JDBC. Explain the architecture of Java Enterprise application. So this is something which is very important. Again. Similar kind of Java enterprise application structure, you need to explain two tier and three tier once again over here. What are the alternatives of CGI? Uh, read it once. This cover question and chances that I'm going to come back to but okay. read it once. Write a short note on part and web connections interface is a very important one. Please read it carefully. Moving ahead, explain deployment descriptor file with its element. You know that. When you are trying to create a servlet, even in the practical video, I am creating the servlet by using annotation based uh, framework. I am not using the XML based framework. But if you are going to use the XML based framework, that is the web.xml file, then this is what a deployment descriptor which will be updated by you. Explain the ROSET and its types in JDBC. Please prepare for this once again. Explain the architecture of JDBC. Important questions. Please prepare nicely for this particular question. List and explain the steps of database connectivity using JDBC API. This is again important question. So please read this question carefully. Prepare for it nicely. So these are all the questions which I found. They are important from unit one point of view. These are 20 pages which you need to prepare. Fine. Few of the question I told you they are not that important. Read it once. But rest of the questions I found they are the important question. Any of the six questions will come from this list of questions might be the a uh, question format will get changed or the question is asked in a twisted way but ultimately the answer need to be prepared from this only. so hardly 20 uh, pages need to be prepared so prepare it nicely all the best this notes you will receive it on telegram channel so do visit the telegram channel subscribe the channels and download notes and use the notes and also please watch the videos which are been uploaded by me for the practicals of advanced java 1 a 1 b 1 c so now practical exams are over True, the practical exams are over, but if you watch the practical again, at least you will be ready with the steps. And once you are ready with the steps, it is quite easy for you to prepare for your answers nicely. Okay, so thanks a lot, students, and uh, subscribe the channel and like the video.